Dude, are you kidding me? You're supposed to be some sort of chat or something. Like, you said you could fly, dude. We just used the rest of our budget on that shot, and you fucked it up. Whatever, we don't have the money to hire someone else, so... I guess just give us the base tour like we agreed on, dude. Fucking idiot. going on guys we're back today with another rust solo base design you guys are gonna love this base it's really cheap easy to set up and it has a bunker all you have to do to open the bunker is shoot out the twig or break it with a tool and to close it just place down a new twig half wall and then place a floor triangle and upgrade it to armored it's about 24 rockets to raid and yeah i mean what else could you want solo base with offline protection hello anyways you can look at the description for the build costs i'll have it all down there real quick before we get started with the build this video's comment shout out goes to health point who says take a shot every time he says this rust base design in his videos anyways let's get started building this rust base design if you're watching my channel and you're not yet subscribed dude we're only at 12 percent, so just hit the button man just do me a favor hit the button First step, find a nice flat spot to build and then pop down a little hexagon footprint. You can fit this sucker just about anywhere. Upgrade your entire footprint to stone. If you can't afford it yet, wood's okay too. Wall off everything except your front door with stone walls. If you upgrade your door frame to stone, it'll be a little bit harder to soft set it out later. Upgrade that door frame to wood and then place another wall right here. You can make it stone or whatever you want to protect the TC and then place another wooden door frame here. Has to be wood. We're going to be beating that thing out later too. Your TC can go in the back corner, just make sure you can put a window frame in front of it later. And in the corner next to your front door, you can place a workbench and a furnace. Next to your TC, you can make a shelf out of two triangles so you can fit four large boxes in this area. You can place your sleeping bag right next to your second door. If you need to use a research table, uh, well, you can just pick up your bag and then pop that sucker down. Don't forget to replace your bag though. When you put your roof on, make sure that the triangle in between the two wooden door frames is also wood because we have to beat that out too. We're going to do a lot of beating in this video. Alright, anyway, when you're ready, start beating out that wooden door frame. Use any might you have necessary. It can be just a tool, even a machete works pretty well. After that, add a high stone triangle foundation. Then you can seal that thing off with half walls so that way no one can soft side in uh no little loot goblins are getting in here for free i messed up here this next half wall right here make sure it's the hard side facing outward not the soft side facing outward i actually left it now if you've done that you have to beat out this wooden triangle once you've done that climb up to the roof and then you can seal it off just like i'm doing make sure that window's in the back because we're going to use it as a loot room later but if you don't want the loot room you can just make honeycomb but don't do that you know more boxes equals better player clearly seal it off with a double door until you get garage door bp and then pop a ladder down underneath so you can climb up after this we're going to be going outside and adding a little bit of honeycomb to start off go outside your double door and look directly to the right and then add some triangle honeycomb right there since this base relies a lot on usable honeycomb we can't really progress until we add honeycomb as well so kind of forces you to fortify now go around to the other side and add honeycomb and a jump up as i do here you can add it in a cheaper way but i'm going to be building this out later so we might as well just do it now to save ourselves the time and effort also if you're worried about someone being able to raid you for cheaper uh don't cover up the half walls above your raised foundation for the bunker yet just upgrade them to sheet metal before you do but uh yeah just add a little triangle roof here and then you'll have your jump up to your roof so you can get in through your front door Alright, so let's expand on our entrance so it's not only one door and a wooden wall to our TC. In this triangle space next to your front door, you can add three more furnaces so you can keep on smelting the metal that you'll need later. After this, we're going to go downstairs and beat out the remaining wooden door frame and put up our bunker, finally. Add two half walls on both sides of this triangle that the doorway was at. Upgrade the top one and destroy the bottom one. Get rid of the furnace and the tier 1 in that triangle afterwards and then replace the tier 1 with a tier 2 so you can craft better shit. Next, go outside and add honeycomb like I do right here. Next, go out to the other side of your base and add more honeycomb like I do. We're gonna make our second floor loot room that'll fit 6 large boxes now. Once you seal off the outside, pick up your window and then put a little shelf inside this window room with the three triangles. After that, you can look through the window and then place six large boxes in the room. After that, we'll finish up our second floor by going outside and walling it off. Once you start making your entrance, put two single door frames and then put a window to the right of it. Upgrade this whole floor to stone as that'll be the final build grade. 
Each of the outer triangles can be usable honeycomb, so you can place whatever you want inside these triangles. I like to fit furnaces in at least two of them, and then put storage in the third one. You can fit 12 rows of storage inside the triangle if you use barbecues and small boxes. Once you've added all your deployables, you can seal these areas off with windows. Fill every triangle with a roof except the spot where you want to put your roof access. You can pick whichever triangle you want, but I picked the one that you see on the screen here. You can add your deployables as I show on the screen right here. This part's optional, but go upstairs and put in your mini copter hanger. Just make another hexagon with some windows all around so you have visibility. After you've done that, seal it off with glass windows and a garage door. Upgrade the floor next to your 6 box loot room to sheet metal and then you can fit a workbench, a small box, and a vending machine in the triangle. After that, we're nearly done with this rust based design, we just have to do a couple upgrades. Make sure every wall on the first floor of honeycomb is metal so you can get that 24 rocket raid cost. Also make sure your entire bunker is HQM and then it'll be pretty hard to get in there for less than 24 rockets. The last step is building your helipad if you want one and then this base is all done man. If you're related to the video, come check me out on Twitch because I'm live right now. From here on out, every upload will be paired with the Twitch stream where I build the base that you see in the video live on stream. So yeah, come check it out, come say what's up, and I'll see you in there. Peace.